everyone and welcome to another third party review. Today I've got these little buttes, the DC-01 and the DC-02, the Demolition Crew, Apex and Geminus from Mech Ideas, or as we know them, Twin Twist and Top Spin. These guys have got extremely well written bios and retro throwback casing. I love the fact they've used the plastic carded cases, very very good. Here they are out of their boxes, and yes, they are awesome. I absolutely loved these toys as a kid. Um, the old jump starters, they were superb. Okay, the uh, transformation wasn't exactly complicated. Kind of pulled it back, it flipped, and uh, that was it. But they were good figures, and these do them justice. Let's just... Uh, arm these guys up if I stick Geminus's guns in top like so and with uh, Geminus's hammer I am going to just pull it apart basically pull the handle out unclip that and I'm going to store it on his underside uh, you can just pop it uh, there's two pegs on here and they will peg in to the back like so then you want to grab your two handles and there's a slot here and a slot on the handle just that square notch and that'll just peg in and hold securely and also acts as a very nice twin exhaust this is very pleasing to the eye quite weighty yeah and it's very solid plastic it's way better, way, way better than some of the stuff that uh, Hasbro's bringing out right now. As you can see, there's a little bit of visible uh, bot head there, but I can forgive that. Yes, yes, I can forgive that. Now let's have a look at uh, Apex. Again, very nice design. Just a very good modern re-envisionment of that G1 toy. Um, really, really nice. It really screams last stand of the wreckers to me. I mean, these are going to stand proudly on my wreckers display. As you can see here, I've uh, placed the hammer on the top. This uh, option is available for both Apex and Geminus. Just a, an alternative way of storing it. it. Kind of acts as some huge cannon thing. Again, this is a very weighty, very solid toy. A lot of plastic for your money. Right to so, um, get these guys transformed. I'm going to need you to take all of the weapons. Off these and we'll put them to one side for now. Uh, if I start with Geminus, because uh, his transformation is the easiest, uh, just unpeg the legs. Uh, be careful because there are two tabs on here uh, one and two, they just tab into the blue plastic. And then if we square those up and come around here, just fold the arm sections down and fold this one and this one. Out. Uh, side on you're going to have something that looks like this at the moment. Grab this section and pull it up. And then this is on a hinge so you can push it down and fold it round. And basically give that a nice push in there until it locks in and fold this flap down. Flap then reveals the head. Now the head will only go one way. So you can't go this way, you have to go up and under. And there we go, and once it's square, you can just place this back piece in and I'll clip back in. There we go, head reveal. That's a very, very nice head sculpt. Right, back to the legs. You want to straighten these up, and you want to have, the thighs will go down, but you need to turn them and swivel them round fully to get full use of those joints. So again with this leg, rotate that thigh and twist the legs round. Now you can just square those feet out. I do love these feet, they're on a side pivot as well. That equals awesome posability. 
like come around to the arms, uh, they're on a double joint. Basically, rather than making them look elongated, you can just bend them at the elbow. Now be careful with these hands, mine were quite stiff. Um, I, had I had to apply moderate force to get these unpegged first time round. Now once they are unpegged, you can just swivel those fists round, and again that'll peg back in there nicely, making that lovely clicking sound. Round the back here, fold his backpack in, like so. Now with Apex, as per the instructions, you need to fold his wings out like this. So he's got kind of a short wingspan there. Or alternatively, you can fold this section out and have it out like that. Thus giving him a slightly bigger wingspan. But I'll stick to like they say in the instructions and just do it like that. Um, another thing I noticed about Apex, um, I've seen a few pictures where they've got the uh, tops rotated around like so. Um, I'm not sure if it bothers me either way. Uh, I think I actually prefer it with the uh, grates facing forwards. And here are these two together in robot mode. And aren't they a sight for sore eyes? They look superb, absolutely awesome. And as a nice little addition, we have another head. Hmm, last stand of the wreckers, anyone? <laughs> um, these are very, very good figures, and they are very, very equipped when it comes to weaponry. Uh, as you can see, they have guns and hammers, which also double up for a bit of wrecking croquet. Oh, jelly go! <laughs> uh, in my opinion, uh, these two are probably the best value for money third party figures I have ever owned. They are an extremely welcome addition to my collection, and they scale perfectly with other figures. As you can see, I've got Whirl and cup and they are spot on absolutely spot on um well done mech ideas i salute you and let's not forget beast mode i'm not entirely sure if this is an official mode or not but it's there and i'm gonna show it to you <laughs> nice little touch um, these are very good value for money figures, and for the price you pay for these, you can't lose. Super poseable figures, super great value for money. Now you can order these now from Kapow, and I believe they're going to get them in at the end of this month. Thanks for watching guys, take care.